reason we need women in leadership roles is first of all, from a theological viewpoint, it completes the, the picture of Christ. And I was thinking about the Martha and Mary story and how, and how Jesus says to Martha, you know, you're running around trying to feed us food, but Mary has chosen the better way. He was bringing her into the fold of where all the men were sitting and hanging out listening to him. He was saying, you actually need to be over here. And while secular society or religio-secular society might have said back then, you need to be serving us, he was saying, you need to stop. You need to be a part. And so I believe that that is the model that we should be following. Now with my students, I will see some who have, they think women should be in leadership or they think women should be able to be answering God's call without restriction. But they've spent 15 years hearing like that's not really true or they'll talk to a pastor back home who says well you'll grow out of that phase once you you know really know what the bible says um and so it's hard for me because the students i see who are extremely gifted and talented and may feel god calling them to ministry or other th areas of leadership and feel like that's good for them to do they still have this sort of thing pulling them back that says oh but maybe you shouldn't really do that can you have a family and can you have a career i'd always thought both were possible but coming to gordon and realizing that there's a huge contingency in the evangelical and the, in the christian community more broadly who sees those things as um, in conflict for women that was new to me when i was 14 my mom was pursuing her phd at the university of washington uh, and as a single parent, it was a real sacrifice, so she had to leave her high school, and she was to, and uh, put it in short term, she was denied. Uh, it was a very sexist decision, and uh, it left a deep impression on me of the single parent trying to struggle through, and then she, so she gave up her dream. One philosophy professor from my alma mater that I talked to many years later, he had at some point had that aha moment, and he described it as teaching a logic class and having all the top students being women and thinking, you know, our theology can't be right if this is what I'm seeing in my classroom. God doesn't give gifts and then tell you not to use it. it it's just very personal when you, you have daughters of your own and, uh, you know, I want them to realize their God-given potential. And, you know, I like that phrase, you know, to realize our God-given potential because God puts in each one of us tremendous uh, potential creativity and ideas and, 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 and ways of communicating. And uh, whenever you take a human being and you stifle their ability to realize that potential,